very far from here, some 2,000 miles away. That's where they live and work and play. There's danger there, lurking everywhere, cause Gargamel will catch you if he can! Ooh, I hate Smurfs! I'll get you, I'll get all of you, if it's the last thing I ever do! <laughs> I have a great deal to do this morning. No, Papa Smurf, patience, patience. This'll only take a minute. Three inches. It's always three inches. Seven and a half. Eight, Papa Smurf. Hmm. I was wondering, Papa Smurf, styles are changing. No, thank you. I don't understand it, Clumsy. I read the same books as Papa Smurf. I have the same deep thoughts as Papa Smurf. I'm certainly as smart as Papa Smurf. See, Clumsy, I'm as agile as Papa Smurf. I'm even younger than Papa Smurf. So I ask you, Clumsy, what am I doing wrong? Uh, gosh, Brainy, I don't know. Of course you don't know. If I don't know, how could you possibly know? But there is one thing I do know. Everyone listens to Papa Smurf, and no one ever listens to me. I don't understand it, Azriel. I just don't understand it. Does the great Merlin look any smarter than I do? Am I not as well read as Monrovia? Surely I'm as nasty as Sloan? <coughs> and yet no one ever listens to me. They have something, Azriel, something special, something in common that accounts for their fame. But what could it be? Uh, Brady? Not now, Clumsy. I'm deep in thought. Uh, but, Brainy... Please, Clumsy! Well, okay, Brainy. I just thought you'd like to know there's a wasp on your glasses. <gasps> My glasses! Of course! It's so obvious! Help! The only difference between myself and Papa Smurf is that I wear glasses. Help! <laughs> Help! That's it, Azriel. Why, it's so obvious. It's as obvious as the hair on their stupid faces. They all have beards. Well, I'll grow a beard, and what a beard it will be. Full, long, imposing, a beard to put all others to shame. My beard will be thicker than Merlin's, longer than Monrovia's, and rougher than Sloan's. Yes, Azriel, I can see me now, the wisest wizard in the world. I hope this won't take too long, Barbara Smurf. I have a busy day planned. Just a few minutes. I was wondering, Papa Smurf, you'd look years younger if you had your beard styled. It's the latest thing. <laughs> no, thank you. La 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 la. Gee, Brady, I, I think you should wear your glasses. I mean, I really think you should. Oh, clumsy. The wisdom of the mind's eye sees more clearly than any mechanical contrivance. What are you going to call it, Painter? A vision of loveliness in the window. Oh, a smurfy. Ah, oh, smurfette, there you are. And looking lovelier than ever. <laughs> My master pals, she's ruined. Ah, oh, brandy smurf, you make me so mad. I surrender. Red? Red? Of course. Why didn't I see it before? Papa Smurf gets his wisdom from his red suit. Hey, Clumsy, where are my glasses? All right, all right, I'll make you a red suit, but I don't think it's proper. Are you sure I couldn't interest you in another color? Red. I think it's presumptuous to say the least. I don't care what you think, Taylor. The customer is always right. <laughs> Smurfing. Exactly my question. Is Papa Smurf going to make an announcement? No. 
my brainy smurf and going to speak a few words of wisdom. My fellow Smurfs, as I stand before you in the splendor that symbolizes my wisdom, I can smurfly tell you that it must be the beer. And then the baby bear said to the mama bear, who's been eating my porridge? Uh, come in. How can I help you, Brady? Uh, Papa Smurf, I was wondering. <laughs> Yes, Brainy? Um, uh, how long have you had your beard, Papa Smurf? Oh, a long, long time. Has it always been white? Why, no, it hasn't. Will I ever have a beard, Papa Smurf? It's possible. It is? When? Oh, I'd say in about 300 years or so. How disappointing. What a terribly long time to wait. You must have patience, Brainy. It is the cornerstone of wisdom. Nothing, nothing, nothing! At this rate, it'll take me 300 years to grow a beard. I tell you, Azriel, I've run out of patience. There must be another way. What is it this time, Brainy? Not another speech, I hope. Oh, boy! Brainy's going to make an announcement! Could you hurry it up a bit, Brainy? Patience, my fellow Smurfs, patience. Have you no respect for this obvious symbol of wisdom that... <laughs> Yes, Brainy? Papa Smurf, I can't wait 300 years for a beard. I'm afraid you'll have to, Brainy. Well, I, I was wondering about hair tonic, Papa Smurf. <laughs> no, Brainy, I'm afraid there is no known tonic that will grow hair. Hair net, hair pin, hair raising, hair shirt. Aha! Here it is! Hair tonic! Two ounces of dandruff flakes, the fuzz from a rotten peach, and last, oh, how lovely, oil from the tail of a dead skunk. All right, my bearded friends, you are about to witness a true wizard at work. Oh, magical hair tonic, do your stuff. Make it thick, make it long, and make it rough. Hmm. Huh? It's growing. It's too fast! Oh no! Stop! Stop! I'm trapped! Help! Help! Ah, what in the world was that? Oh, it stopped! Oh, it finally stopped growing! Oh, Azriel, where? You. The scissors! I need the scissors! Amazing! I've never seen anything like it! The loose le track! What is it? I don't know, but it smells like gargamel to me. What should we do, Papa Smurf? We must trace this to its source. Oh, which way should we go, Papa Smurf? From the structure of this hair, it grew in this direction. Uh, therefore, we must go in that direction. Oh, our Papa Smurf, he is so wise! The scissors! The scissors, you fool cat! Fetch, you stupid furball! Fetch! Ouch! Ouch! Stop it, you fool cat! Ouch! Ooh! Ouch! Oh. Gosh, Papa Smurf! Too bad Brainy was so busy working on his secret project he couldn't come with us. Oh? Hmm. Is it much farther, Papa Smurf? Not much farther now. Is it much farther, Papa Smurf? Not far now. Is it much further, Papa Smurf? Yes, it is! Help! Help! Somebody help me! Oh, Papa Smurf, he sounds so pathetic. My heart goes out to him. Well, speak for yourself, natural Smurf. Mine doesn't. Help! Please! Someone, anyone! We'll have to try to get in through the cellar. Someone, please help me! Oh, Mr. Mouse, it is so good of you to put yourself in jeopardy. What's that? Who is here? Oh, whoever you are, please help me, please. Well, Gargamel, that's quite a beard you have there. <laughs> oh, Papa Smurf, 
Papa Smurf, please cut me free of this beard. Papa Smurf, the scissors are on the table. I don't know why we should help you, you rotten old meanie. Oh, Smurfette, have you no pity for this poor, wretched bean? No, poor soul. I think we should cut off his beard, Papa Smurf. Yes, please, Papa Smurf, cut it off. Please cut it off. It would do no good. This is a magic beard. It would only grow back as fast as we cut it. You mean I'll die here? We can't allow that, Papa Smurf. There is only one way that I know of to free you, Gargamel. Anything, anything. By any chance, have you a chili bean? A chili bean? A chili bean! It is a good deed you do, Papa Smurf. Are you ready, Gargamel? Yes, hurry. Repeat after me. Chili bean, chili bean, listen to my plea. Chili bean, chili bean, listen to my plea. Chili bean, chili bean, set me free. Chili bean, chili bean, set me free. We'd best be going, my little Smurfs. You'd better run, Papa Smurf, because here run! I come. <laughs> I told you we shouldn't have freed him. You'll never get away. <laughs> run, my little Smurfs, run. Yeah! Papa Smurf, I don't understand. Jump, my little Smurfs, jump. Another beard? Oh, my! Brainy Smurf, are you all right? I'm talking to you, Brainy. Can you hear me? Yes, Papa Smurf. I made some hair tonic. I know that, Brainy. You know everything, Papa Smurf, everything. But did I listen to you? Oh, no. I had to learn for myself that infinite wisdom does not come with the wearing of a beard. Oh, Papa Smurf, you are so wise. Oh, Papa Smurf, oh, help me. <laughs>